there. I sent this, and she was naked, I felt, spread eagled and tied up. She was me. I tried to free myself. I shook my head. The bag was fairly loose around my neck, so maybe I could thrash it off. My legs were pulled so far apart, my groin began to hurt. Fuck, I wasn't wearing any clothes. I screamed. I tried, at least. My lips were taped down. For the next hour or so, I wrenched and pulled. What was outside the darkness? Was there someone standing silently a foot away? Was I even in the house that entered with Wayne? And where the hell was Wayne? Was he hurt? Had someone killed him? When this kind of thing happens, you don't think about your loved ones. You don't think about God. You think of being tortured with simple things. Cash. When he handed her back for change, she clamped her hand in his. She eased her mouth to his ear. And gone right away, she said. Fear creamed from poured in his hot cheek. She could smell it. Her hand stirred, shivered. She held it down. He dragged it. She let it go. He straightened up and glowered. The runaway eye began to roam along the wall behind her. The other one fixed her like a nail. Who the fuck you is, he said, without moving his lips. The ridiculous little badge over his mouth trembled. I'm Gracie's friend, she said, taking care of sound and look at ease. Gracie in San Francisco. He sent me to you. He said you'd know. Gracie, he said, looking her up and down. His face was tense. You know Gracie? Gracie no dead? But you can't come to the place and drink the people beer. Walk out here to go long time. That's a good time to ride. So, 